Hello! Welcome to making a washing up liquid bird feeder. As you can see, the list of things you will need to get a clean plastic bottle. I've drawn on the bottle here to show where the doors will go. They both are open on both sides so the birds have something to stand on. Use the lid by pulling a piece of string looped through with a knot underneath as you can see and that will hold the bottle on the tree or bush or wherever. Okay, here we go. So we leave the bottom and there we go, one side, two sides. Now it's for decorating. So we're going to put on some masking tape around the top of the opening uh, for reducing the amount of space that we've created with the doors. Now I've used masking tape but you can use sellotape or some of the vinyl colours that I've put in the pack. And that's it with tissue paper glued on. And now I'm going to cover it with gesso which is also in your pack using a paintbrush. Just put it on lightly, not too much. And paint the whole bottle. Now we're going to use some of the vinyl colours that uh, are supplied. I've chosen yellow and orange on this one and here I've drawn a couple of wings and a beak. I think you know what's coming. Uh, I'm going to cut these out. And they are self-adhesive, so you just peel off the back, which is a little bit tricky, and using the self-adhesive eyes as well, that are also in your pack. Now you can use whichever design you like. You can cover the entire bottle with a feather effect using the vinyl. Now I've used the gesso on there, just so it adds an extra layer of being able to stick things on, but... Um, Always a good idea, because it's going outside, if you also cover the whole bottle with uh, glue on top as well, um, just so it adds an extra protective layer. And once you've done the glue, you can draw on the bottle uh, with the permanent markers, so that will stay on. Now I'm just attaching a little leg made out of string, but again, you can use whichever part of the kit that you prefer to use. I think he's done there. Little googly eyes, nice little orange chest. Of course you could make him a robin or any bird you like. And I've left the back blank, but with the vinyl on your bottle you could make that all feathery. Um, and here he is, in all his glory, outside. No food yet, I'm afraid. I'm going to draw a nice floral design on this side. That's just a bit of personal taste. I've got my uh, permanent markers. I'm going to do lots and lots of colour. Right. With a bit, a clever bit of editing, you won't have to watch me draw the entire thing. A little flap will go through. Here we go. We're going to go on to the main thing where I've finished. Ta-da! Now, of course, you don't have to do flowers. There are plenty of subjects you could draw. You could do anything to do with birds or just a nice beach scene if you fancy. Um, but here he is, one side birdie. Cheap, cheap. Looking forward for some grub. This design I've used the top of a large bottle and cut a bigger hole around where the um, entrance to the bottle is so it slips over the top of our washing up liquid bottle. Now you've just made a little roof like a thatched roof. Same bottle design where you've cut and glued and gessoed and now I've swapped it over so it's now on the top. Just a different idea playing on with the bottle. Now I'm just going to glue the funnel on although it has no uh, use on this one except for decoration. Um, because we've still got the lid on with the string looped through. So I'm just putting a lot of glue around the edge. Now I'm going to get some um, string and just 
secure it on. Now if it wobbles around too much, use a bit of sellotape uh, to secure it and um, then put the glue on, followed by the string. And once you've done all of that, you can just secure it a little bit more with some more glue. There we go. And then obviously when that's dry, that really holds it on per properly. <laughs> As I'm recording this, I hope you can't hear my cats munching on their biscuits. <laughs> Very professional outfit here, you know. Right. I do apologise. A bit more glue. And then we're ready to decorate again. So as you can see, I've done a completely fresh bottle. But on this one, I have just used the gesso covering, waited for it to dry, covered it in another very, very thin layer of glue just to uh, toughen it up a smidge. And now I'm going to use the markers on this one. Again, you can use the vinyl. In fact, I'm going to use pens and vinyl on this one. To me, it looks like a flower, so I'm just going to do a long stem that comes all the way down. few leaves. Once again, flowers are not your thing. Do exactly as you please. It can just be a series of patterns, to be honest. Just whatever you like. Whatever springs to mind. And this is my finished product. And I've done a little flower on the inside, because the this one I've used only one door at the front, which reminds me of a drawbridge, so you could actually make it look like a castle, which would be an idea. Um, and there we are. Bird feeders. <laughs> Have fun making them. <laughs>